I'm here in the New Jersey Pine Barrens. This incredible ecosystem has a long history and relationship with fire. Here, we have one of the most common species in the Pine Barrens, pitch pine, Pinus rigida. This species of pine is known to sprout epicormically, or it sprouts branches right out of the trunk, which often makes it relatively easy to identify at a distance. Additionally, the leaves or needles are in groups of three or fascicles of three, and the cones are very round when mature, relatively large, armed with little spikes, and they are persistent and serotonous, which means typically they remain on the stem closed unless heat causes them to open. Here we have shortleaf pine, Pinus echinata. Notice the cones of this tree are much smaller than those of pitch pine. Here we have sand hickory, Caria pallida, with its beautiful yellow autumn foliage. Here we have mockernut hickory, Caria tomentosa, with its fat bud and huge husk. Here we have blackjack oak, Quercus marilandica, with its incredibly top-heavy leaves and rough black bark. Here we have scrub or bare oak, Quercus ilicifolia. It has shallow sinuses, irregularly shaped leaves, small buds, and the undersides of the leaves are pubescent. This is not a tree, but a shrub. Here we have black oak, Quercus velutina, with its fat shade leaves and its highly dissected sun leaves. Additionally, we have acorns that the cap covers half of, and the scales are imbricate or overlapping, and they pull up like feathers. The bark of this oak is rough, black, and blocky. Here we have Quercus falcata or southern red oak. These leaves are highly variable. Often, lobes are narrow, sinuses are deep, and the lobes angle forward towards the tip. As you can see here, the upper side of the leaf is smooth and lustrous. The underside is incredibly pubescent, often almost copper colored. I'm here with post oak or Quercus stellata. This tree has white bark with thin vertical ridges. The leaves of this tree have broad rounded lobes and deep sinuses. The lobes are relatively perpendicular and depart at a right angle to the central axis of the leaf, a lot like a cross. Here we have sweet fern, Comptonia peregrina. This is not a fern at all, but a shrub. 